It's a hot summer day, and all you want is a cool, refreshing drink. You jump into your car and grab that bottle you left in the front seat. No! You can boil some lunch in it, and that's how hot it is. Luckily, your car has a small built-in fridge. Yep, in most cars, you can open the vent in your glove compartment and let the air from the air conditioning inside. Ice cream wouldn't survive there for long, but it's definitely cold enough to cool down some drinks or keep your sandwiches from going bad. Oops, it looks like that bottled water isn't the only thing boiling in the car. If your engine boils because of heat or some technical issue, turn on the stove at maximum temperature and let the heat from the engine move inside the car. Yep, you heard me right. It will help lessen the burden on the engine's cooling system. You know it's working if you see the temperature gauge back in the neutral position. It can also be a temporary fix until you get to the mechanic. So you need to replace a wheel, but the wrench doesn't seem long enough for that? You have to lean way too much and your back won't thank you for that. You can extend it by using a tube. When you turn the wrench into a telescopic one, it will be easier to unscrew the nuts using your own weight. Don't have a funnel in your car, but need to add some oil to the engine? It's really important to always have the right amount so your engine doesn't overheat. If you don't want to spill it all over yourself, a screwdriver will come to the rescue. Hold it at the right angle. The oil will flow smoothly right inside. Don't forget to clean the screwdriver afterwards. You're driving at night with hardly any traffic on a bumpy road. Suddenly, you feel you've run into something. It's a special device with metal tubes. Then, you notice some suspicious car starts following you. Be careful! Their plan is to follow you until you stop, which is going to be pretty soon. If they had pierced the tire with a screw, the hole would have been closed, and you could have driven a long way with it. But the metal tube allows the air to leave the tire really fast, and that's the whole point. Once you get out of the car to fix the problem, the bad guys might offer you help and then try to steal the car. In case there's an air leak in your tire and you don't have a proper repair kit in your trunk, don't remove the entire wheel to be able to move. You can use a screw to close up the leak like this. It will last for a short time as you head to the nearest mechanic. Never park your car under trees in bloom. And no, it's not just because birds living up there might leave you a surprise. Many trees in the summer produce juice, resin, and fruit and berry sticky grains that can land directly on your car. This substance can gradually damage the paint and varnish coating. If you don't have a chance to wash the car for a while, the stain will remain. You can use a soap solution or special liquids to wash it off if this happens. Just mix soap and water in a spray bottle and give it a good cleaning. This solution will also work just fine if there's bug residue on your car. When cleaning, make sure not to press too hard, not to damage the car overcoat. Confession time! Are you one of those people who like to save money and use regular water instead of antifreeze for washing the windshield in the warm season? Well, you should know that when the cold comes, the tank inside your car can deform or even crack. Some car drivers use antifreeze when the temperature goes below zero at night. But during the day, when the temperature is above zero, the liquid starts to smell. So here's the solution. Mix one part antifreeze with half part distilled water. Now you'll use just enough antifreeze and it won't damage the tank. I'm sure you take good care of your car and clean the windows. But do you ever clean the rubber molding on the windows? Even if the car is clean, that molding is a dust magnet. When the dust gets out, it scratches the windshield like sandpaper. After a while, it can leave deep scratches on the windshield that you won't be able to get rid of. So, better safe than sorry. Roll the windows up. Wipe away the dust you can see with a microfiber cloth. Put some automotive shampoo on the molding. Scrub it in using a toothbrush, then wipe it away with a damp microfiber towel. You don't want any residue to stay behind the window or the trim. See if it's clean enough and give it another go if necessary. You can also check out the interior rubber trim and take care of it as well. Have you seen one of those videos where someone opens a car with a plunger? Well, it's not that possible. You'd have to use around 10 plungers with force at the same time to force the lock open. So, invite 9 friends over and give it a go if you're interested. When you're traveling down a highway or a countryside road, 
little pebbles might come your way. They aren't that dangerous and you might not even notice the damage. But if you look closely, you'll find hardly noticeable traces on your headlight. If you plan to stay on the road for a long time and rain catches you on the way, your headlights might fog up because of that damage. To fix them somehow before you get them properly repaired, use a piece of transparent tape. It will prevent the moisture from getting in through the gap, and the headlights won't fog up. Sticky air fresheners aren't the best choice for your car. Those scent stickers have active chemical components that make your car smell like cinnamon or a tropical breeze. If your car stays in the sun for too long and those components find a way out, they can damage the paint or make it dull. Even if it just stays intact for a long time, evaporation of this liquid over months can leave a stain where it was. The paint will fade or go bubbly. If you don't want that to happen, you can make your own car scent. Fill a mason jar with baking soda halfway and add 20 drops of your favorite essential oil. Cover it with a lid and shake it well. Take the lid off the jar and circle it on a cardboard. Cut the circle out and punch holes in the cardboard with a small nail. Now, cover the jar with a cardboard lid and secure it. To keep your car fresh, you can keep this DIY air freshener in the cup holder or under the seat. If you get stuck in mud, sand, or snow, don't panic. That rule actually works in many situations. Remember, there's always a way out. It also works in many cases. First of all, give your tires some room to maneuver. Move the steering wheel back and forth to achieve this. Go really slow to get some traction. Go from reverse to drive quickly, but no more than eight times not to damage the car. Deflate the tires, letting out about half of the air from them to increase their surface area. Then, dig out some space around them and use the tire jack to elevate the car and branches, boards, or even car floor mats for some extra traction. As you get out successfully, don't forget to inflate the tires back and drive slowly at first to get the excess mud off. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.